Hello, and welcome to Opera's headquarters in beautiful Oslo, Norway. My name is Jennifer, and I'm here to introduce the new Opera Devices SDK 9.6. The Opera Devices SDK enables consumer electronics manufacturers to create custom full web browsers. What's more, the SDK can also be used as a rich environment for web applications and user interfaces. The new SDK 9.6 introduces several great new features. Smooth zooming and panning with hardware accelerated Opera Zoom. Reduced bandwidth needs with OBML support based on Opera Mini technology. Greater peace of mind with fraud protection. And seamless connectivity with universal plug and play support. I'd now like to introduce you to Christian, who will give you a guided tour of the new Opera Devices SDK 9.6. Hello, my name is Christian Söderström, and I'm one of the developers responsible for the Opera Devices SDK 9.6. The Opera Devices SDK can be used to develop a great web browser. A good example of this is the Lingbox set-top box. The Lingbox has a custom-built Opera web browser featuring Opera widgets. The Opera browser gives a full web experience, much like you would expect on a PC or a Mac. So let's launch Opera. Let's open BBC. The browser has all the features you would expect, such as bookmarks and navigation. Hmm, let's check out the sports section. This setup box is also equipped with Opera widgets. Widgets are small web-based applications that run like native applications on the device. So we have a few widgets to choose from here. Let's uh, check out the weather in Beijing. It's not too bad. The SDK can be used in a variety of other devices, such as connected TVs, mobile internet devices, home appliances, even cars and airplanes. The Opera Devices SDK can be used for more than creating a great browser. It can also be used as an application environment. Here's a nice Sony Bravia LCD TV. But take a look at this little thing. Sony has used the SDK as an application environment to deliver web-based services and content. Let's check out YouTube. Now we're logged in to the Opera YouTube account. Let's check out some of our favorite videos. Let's play the Catalan job. I'd now like to show you some of the new features that are available in the Opera Devices SDK 9.6. First off is Opera Zoom with hardware acceleration. Opera Zoom delivers a smooth, seamless feel as we navigate in and out of content on a web page. You can also zoom out to overview mode to get a bigger picture before diving back into the details. The second thing I'd like to show you is OBML. OBML is the same technology used in the Opera Mini web browser for mobile phones. With OBML, we use server-side compression to reduce the size of web pages by up to 90%. This accelerates the browsing experience, reduces bandwidth requirements, and makes the most of limited device hardware. Another thing we've added to the SDK is fraud protection. This technology is also used in the Opera desktop browser. Fraud protection verifies the safety of web addresses before the user can browse in. If a site is on our suspect list, you will get a warning message from Opera to take extra care. The next new feature I'd like to show you is UPnP or Universal Plug and Play. UPnP is a way for connected devices to communicate with each other. SDK 9.6 helps you integrate with UPnP and create a single control point. 
I have used this uh, Arcos Media Player as a control point in my home network. With it, I can control any UPnP enabled device I like. For example, here's a picture of Opera CEO Yoon and I taken earlier today. If I wanted to show this on the TV, I could use the Arcos to transfer it. There it is. If I wanted to, I could do the same thing with music or video. I hope you enjoyed the guided tour. To learn more, please visit opera.com forward slash business. Thank you for your time.